try to play the shit like play it cool, play me like I'm sweet. Fucking on the op, nigga, bitch. Say she missed the gold in my teeth. Four L shit, no, we stepping. Y'all should get the funeral for parent. SF90. Happy Vlogmas Day 13. I'm tired, you guys. Like, I don't know if it is. It's not the weather, because it's honestly not that cold. It's only 50 degrees, but I'm just, like, tired as fuck. Like, I need a nap. And also because last night, y'all, I had to go pick up my brother at 12 a.m. And then I had to, like, I was wide awake, and then I had to, like, make myself go back to sleep. And I had to go to work. Obviously, I'm on lunch right now. But, um, so I could just be tired just because of that. But I don't know. I'm tired as hell. Mmm. What the fuck? But, um, yeah, happy Vlogmas Day 12, y'all. I'm tired. What y'all up to? The fuck? <laughs> so, I was watching today, this morning. So, every morning I watch sermons, and I was watching, um, Crystal and Megan today on Keep It, Keep It Positive, sweetie. And the topic was, um, let me find it real quick so I don't it. in this new season and when i tell y'all i literally like they made that interview for me like that was for me like for me like that was for me and i guess this topic excuse me this topic every time coffee y'all <laughs> in the cut with my twin we be baby but excuse me um, they made that for me. So we'll talk about, we'll talk about that because that's something, the topics that they talked about are definitely things that have, um, affected me until I finally just gave it to God and went on about my business. So let's talk about the new season. So basically during the, um, interview and everything, like, they were talking about how um, when we forgive ourselves, but yet it still sits in the back of our head as well as like things that we've done in the past that we are not proud of or things that would make us feel like we are ashamed. But in reality, we should not be ashamed of those things because it's part of our story. And even though we may think that God might have not wanted us to go about certain things that way. He still has forgiven us and he is not ashamed of us. And we should not try to change ourselves based off of how people view you as a person and how people think of the old you. And that really hit home for me because in the beginning of... I'm not even going to say this year because I really wasn't this year. So I would say last year, going all the way back from then, like, I was such a people pleaser. Like, I wanted people to just like me. Like, I wanted the attention. Like, I wanted people to like me. Like, I didn't care. Like, I just wanted people to like me. And I wasn't thinking about, like, internally, like, how that was damaging me as a person until, like, I kind of had like, I ain't gonna say it was a rude awakening, but it was kind of like God kind of like slapping me in the back of my head with a fucking sandal and was just like, you know what? It's time for you to like get your shit together. And um, that's exactly what they were talking about in there. And I was just like, grass, because when you see like, especially like with Megan, like, I don't know if y'all know her, but like she was on that podcast thing with B. Simone, but long story short, like I would have never thought she went through half of the shit that she was talking about. And I was just like, you just don't know. Like, you don't know what people be fighting. Like, you don't know what people be fighting internally. And it just blows my mind how society is just a fucking wreck and always wants to just, like, make you a villain but never know your story. So, going back to myself, of course, because I'm obviously this is my channel, so I'm going to talk about May. Um, I... And I mean, I talk about this a lot, but me and therapy, like my self-awareness was so important to me because I really wanted to figure out who I was. And I am now back to, like I told my therapist, um, I feel like I'm the little girl that I was when I was younger. 
playing with my baby dolls by myself with a huge imagination, a, like a huge list of dreams that I want to do with nobody in my ear telling me I can't do it or I don't look the part or I would never have this or I would never have that or, you know, I have to, you know, like so many standards. And it's just like, I love that now I don't, I don't look for an outside source for approval. I don't look for, okay, well, I don't want to post this. Or I don't want to say this because I don't know how people going to take it or how people going to look at me. Or maybe I need to ask somebody their opinion first before I post this or say this. No, because the only person really that I be talking to, I ain't going to lie. When I post content and stuff now, the only person that I talk to about it is my journal and God. I might talk to my therapist too, but like as far as like peers, family and stuff, like I might ask their opinion after the fact, but like as far as like the progress of it, I don't ask. Like I just don't because that really can like ruin and test your, like it can mess up your faith. Like the whole point of having faith and believing in God or whoever y'all believe in is basically just trusting God and trusting the journey and trusting the process because at the end of the day it still builds you up to the person that you are meant to be and it takes time and I used to put a timeline on my life so bad like I just used to be like I need to be here by 25 I need to be here by 30 if I'm not here by 25 and I'm not about here by 30 I'm a fuck up and I'm really not like I'm really not a fuck up and that's crazy like because I'm so hard on myself and I'm learning to not be so hard on myself and to give myself grace with time and it's really such a blessing to just be fully self-aware of those things and just mentally preparing yourself for the new season that you have and the part that hit home the most for me in that whole interview was when she was talking about how we never physically forgive ourselves but yet we you know we pray we cry we plead to god for forgiveness for certain things that we've done that weren't right and he all sins are forgiven but yet we still always want to go back and think about it and then put yourself in this bad element and i'm learning now not to do that and it's so good because i certain months due to like trauma and things certain months and certain days really like trigger me um and it takes me back to where i was in that day on that year at that time whatever place like all that and like they were saying in the interview they're like girl you gotta just let it go and it's like you really do and it's like even if somebody hurt you, you hurt somebody, or you feel like somebody owe you an apology, or you feel like you may owe somebody an apology, sometimes certain bridges just like just gotta be let go, and that's okay. Um, and that's one thing that I'm happy I've learned to cope with and accept because you really can't change nothing or no outcome but your own. And I used to always want validation from people and clarity from people like you know you fucked up like you hurt my feelings like you did me so wrong but like certain people don't have the hearts that other people have and certain people hurt people because they're still hurt and they haven't healed from certain hurt that they have due to childhood traumas and certain traumas and stuff too and it took me this year to kind of really set in stone that like for instance um and tomorrow, <clears throat> actually tomorrow, tomorrow is a day that was very traumatizing for me um, two years ago. And normally during this time, I would be very bitter. I would be upset. I would be mad. Like I would just, I just would not even want to communicate with people or anything. And to now be in 2023 and just feel refreshed and i don't feel a grudge towards the whole situation anymore like i don't feel bad i don't feel sad i don't feel regretful i don't feel ashamed it's just it's amazing because i've seen how far i've come so i know that i'm really in a new season in a new transition for my life and it's scary in a good way but it's scary it's scary and then they even talked about like dating and like relationships. Like, I, I'm so scared. I'm so scared to get my heart broken. I'm so scared because 
I'm just scared. It's like I'm scared to, I'm scared to date. I'm scared to be in a relationship. I'm scared to get my heart broken. But I want to get married. <laughs> I want to be in an official relationship. I want, I want that genuine love that I see my grandparents having, like my peers and stuff have. I, I want my own. Like I don't want it to be like theirs, but I want my own. And it's like, how can I do it? And I'm still like with this guard up. And it's not even like a grief. Like I don't have a grief. Cause at first this year I did, I had a, I had a, um, my therapist, I think she called it like a, like a, a men grief or like a dating grief where like, you just don't want to deal with like dating at all. Like you just hate men. Like you don't like men. Like you just don't want to get your heart fucked up again. And it was due to, you know, old shit. But everybody is not that way. Um, which is true too. But me personally, I'm just like, I'm just really in this element right now where I'm like, I'm, I'm dating God. I'm having fun with God. I'm having fun with myself. I'm having fun with discovering who I truly am, like in and out, like me being the goofy Morgan, like the carefree, spontaneous, funny, no makeup, maybe dressed till a nine one time looking a mess. I, I just be me and I'm okay with that. I don't gotta report to nobody. I ain't gotta vent to nobody. I ain't gotta check in on nobody like that unless I want to. I ain't like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I like that. Like, I like this right now. And it's scaring me because it's like, I don't want to be like this forever, but at the same time, I'm alone, but I'm not lonely. Like, I'm not eager to get in a relationship right now. Like, and that's shocking because if you've seen like my dating videos, I was so adamant about it. I'm like, let me change myself so I can attract the right person. I attract the right men now. I attract the right men now, for sure. I do like everything a one but it's just like i'm so fucking scared like i feel like if a man asked me today like if i was dating a dude right now and a man asked me today like i want you to be my girlfriend or like i'm ready to take it to the next level with you like for us to be official like serious like i wouldn't even know what to do like, I, I don't know, and I don't even know what the fuck I would do. And I just feel like the reason why I wouldn't know what I would do is because, and again, like, I'm trying to let that go, like, but just because when I have been in relationships or I have been dating people and things like that, and, like, with me and people knowing who I am and people just want to know all the time, like, who I'm dating or who I'm, you know, with or anything, it, it's draining, but it's, like, I know that when I have the right person, like the outside world is not gonna matter. Because I know how I am. And I know that if I get in a relationship with somebody and it's official, it's on social media, whatever, so be it. Of course people gonna come out the woodworks and just say a whole bunch of shit because people don't like seeing people happy, especially if they're not happy. So if somebody is not happy, or even if they are in a relationship and they're not happy, they still gonna wanna fuck up what you got going on. And it's fucked up. But that's just the reality of it. But the person that I am, I don't care about that because I'm the type of person where I like to get to know somebody for them first. Let me have my own impression of you. Despise what somebody is saying to me. Let me get my own impression of you. Let me love you for you. Like, don't have me just based on my judgment because Susie and Q and Molly Sue said that, you know, you do this and you do that. Like, no, like, let me, let me see, because people change. Like, I'm a prime fucking example. Like, people change when they're ready to change. Now, I'm not saying you got to wait on a motherfucker to change, but people change. And, I mean, I'm not going back to nothing. Um, I'm moving forward. So, it's like, I'm, am I in a rush today? No. But when it comes to me and when God feels like I'm ready, I'll accept that and I'll be blessed with that. So, all in all, like, and especially because it's retrograde and it's affecting the cancers. So I feel like in reflecting is one of the main things for retrograde, this, this last retrograde. And me reflecting on that is really just showing me that I am in this new season. 
and I am excited. I'm really excited. Um, it's different. It's uncomfortable. But it was long overdue. <laughs> it was long overdue, y'all. When I say it was long overdue, it was long overdue. And I'm just in awe about it. Like, I don't look like what I've been through. And I say that every day. I don't look like what I've been through. And I thank God so much for that because I really do not look like what I've been through. If I look like what I've been through, I'm telling y'all, I would be bruised up, scarred up, mashed up, like a complete wreck. So I guess the takeoff with this message today would be do some self-reflecting on yourselves. Be self-aware of yourselves. Don't even put a timeline on where you think you want to be or where you should be. Think about right now what season that you're in. Think about certain things that trigger you and bother you. Think about things that you like you really want to be as of now, internally and externally. And just feel how refreshing you feel after that. Like, yes, you're going to get tested tested like yes you're gonna get tested by society by people by life that's just life but when you overcome so much in your life it just makes you more hopeful and you have more joy and you're just more grateful and thankful for everything that you have so that's my takeaway love y'all IG model run my errands. He go missing, we gon' spend his parents. Stayed in Houston long as B Francis. Shoot his feet, got him doing.